What's up guys, back with another video. Today I'm going to be starting a new series. It's going to be solo standard to champ. And right now I placed in plat 3, division 3. Um, I'm basically just going to be playing plat 3 to, to champion. Solo standard. I played a little bit just here and there just to see what it's like. And it is terrible. <laughs> it's horrible, to be honest. But I'm sh it's going to be a learning experience for me and you guys. And I'm just going to try to talk through... Basically, some tips and tricks to rank up in threes. You can apply this to standard as well. But solo standard is a little bit different because everyone's toxic and <laughs> everyone plays. The solo part is really emphasized. Go up here. Hit it to a teammate on the far side. So unfortunately, I'm just going to follow just because he missed. It's fine. I didn't think I had enough boost to go, so. Big thing is double commits, and then that's how we get scored on. So, a lot of things I notice in solo standards are double commits and triple commits by the whole team. <laughs> Our team, their team, doesn't matter. Everybody just wants to hit the ball. Everyone's toxic. 20 seconds in, nice rotation. Oh, I tripped over the post. Oh, I tripped over the post again. Should be cool. While my team's doing the scoring, I'm just gonna trip over the post twice. Lucy apologized. I mean, the guy was still right under the crossbar for no reason. Holy. Couldn't catch up to that. I wanted a boost for anything. Oh, wait. I have 100. That was not... I did not hit that very hard. That's not the turn I wanted. All right, here I can pressure. He's most likely gonna go up the wall. Damn, he got that boost. I should have passed it back there. I think in any other situation I would have. Oh, I thought this guy was gonna pressure. If that goes in, I'm gonna be a little sad. I don't have to go for that. Okay. Teammate should have that. Never mind. That was an awkward touch. Wow. I was really fucked if he hit that. I feel like people are always in the weirdest spots. Oh. Okay, don't back up into the goal. What? Let's see. I saved it! I had it saved, and then he pinched it in. Like, straight in. That was a good read. I had no idea where that was going to bounce. In all honesty, off that back... Right there, I had no idea if that was going to roll or or bounce out. I chose the right one, though. Teammate's under, so I'm going to let him go. I can challenge this on the bounce. Oh, that was too late. Wow. 
gave me time for boost too. Why is this guy like right on the ball? I don't know what this guy's doing. Oh. Should stay on that still. Holy. Okay, so I feel like plat three. I feel like all of plat is basically who can score the least amount of own goals will win. That's how I feel. I don't think any goal is actually earned. There are occasional, occasional, uh, what's it called? Exceptions. But most of the time, I think every game I've seen at least one own goal. No way of scoring that. I'm out of boost because I tripped over the post. I would have beaten them there too. It's unfortunate. So I'm just going to stay and collect pods while he scores a banger. I just play safe. Play off people's whiffs because I just expect teammates to whiff at this point. Then you can just dish off to your teammates. Probably call the kickoff at this point. Let's control it here. Alright. I forgot that everyone goes balls to the wall and everything. That was a good read, holy fuck. I was not expecting to score that. Fake! Fake! There I just saw he was gonna still go for it, so I just I just waited. There's no point. <laughs> Hango, no problem for being a goalie. What? I don't know what he's trying to say. Nice. So there, I flew way past it. So I had to go back and just try to pass it to his teammate or to my teammate in the corner. No. GG. So basically what I did to win this game, it does help that my teammates were actually like, eh, they're kind of decent. But um, it did help that they scored. And I just played safe, played off whiffs, just was in the right spot most of the time. Just play smart and most of the time you'll win. Totally. Alright, game two. He's got it, okay. Oh, did he go for kickoff? Goal! I've had this happen too, to my team. Actually, when we play standard, this is ha this happens because Felix and Grasky, when they, I always go for kickoffs. And then whenever they're in the front two, they never go for it. They always go for boosts. It'll happen like three times in a game too. I swear. Okay, I saw that coming. I didn't do anything about it. 
I'm just gonna wait on this touch. I'm just control it in the corner. Oh, I landed on it. That's awkward. Oh, I didn't see that guy. Teammate should have that. Is he backwards? He's backwards. Why is he backwards? Off the bounce. Then that, I'm gonna leave for a teammate because I got no boost and I'm just gonna rotate back. There's no point in risking anything stupid. Just because the risk reward is probably not worth it. I'm just gonna jump early, touch into the corner. Teammate should have the bounce. That was awkward. Oh. Other teammate should have this. I can get boost. Just gonna wait on the touch. I can jump early because they're on the ground. Try to get a dunk. I think I went for a demo, I'm pretty sure. Where's that gonna bounce? He's probably gonna keep going. I'm just gonna sit mid for a pass. Close. I should have put that in the far corner. I didn't think they were gonna react to it, but I underestimated them. Good 50. Try to knock that downfield by some time. Oh, that bounce is weird. I'm gonna leave that for a teammate. Oh, I missed. I suck. That 100% of the times should be a goal, but everyone misses. That's what I mean by putting shots on target. Oh, I hit it right into him. I wanted to hit it out. But I wanted to hit it more towards the midfield. Totally, totally hit it in the wrong spot. He's up, so I'm going to stay down, get boost. I'm going to wait on his touch, see where it goes, and then I can tackle here. Just try to keep pressure on. Didn't know if he was going to get a big clear there, so I just turned. Ah. Uh, Turn for boost. Probably gonna head it towards the wall. No. I was definitely gonna hit that in the goal. I have no idea why I jumped like that. He jumped so early, he wasn't even close to him. Oh. Generally, you don't wanna clear straight into the six yard box. I somehow got that boost. Fake there, and then he jumps and you just dribble around him. I'm gonna fake here. Probably gonna go out. There are teammates on the wall, so. Hit it towards that corner. Just wait on his touch. I know he can't lift that above me, just because where he was according to the ball. So I just single jumped and prepared for a 50. He hit it too far forward, that's how I knew. And you just wait, you score. That was a good 50 by my teammate. You just gotta know when to take your chances and when to go up. Here, I'm gonna wait on his touch. I good thing he didn't hit that because I'm pretty sure I was missing that block. Judging by the way he came in on that. It's missing. I knew he was missing there so I could just keep going. And I could beat this guy to the ball. Then I could just tap it in. I like going after kickoffs. It's fun. You can control where the ball goes. Oh, if anyone wants a kickoff tutorial, then please let me know. <laughs> there I pre-flew, and then I could tell I wasn't gonna make it to him, and then the other guy was flying in. Okay, I was going for a block there. It's awkward. So I could just I could reposition my card depending on where he was going to shoot. He went straight down on it, so. 
I don't I don't know why I'm under the ball here. I should have just rotated out. But we're up 3-0, so it's not really that big of a deal. Even one goal against this isn't gonna matter. Wow, I missed that ball, but it worked out. It was a good pass. I don't know where that's going. Could have tried to keep it up, but whatever. Well, there's my two games, guys. Um, I hope you learned a little bit of something. And basically just learned movements and a little bit of decision making. If there are any other questions, you can check out my Twitch stream. Or you can just ask in the comments and I'll reply as soon as I get the notification. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, follow my Twitch stream. And I guess tune in next time for more. Peace.